everybody and welcome back to Welcome Grove Homestead. I want to open up this video by saying I did a thing. <laughs> David got some footage of us bringing in a new member to the homestead last night. Check it out. Don't look now, but Mitt is coming up the driveway with a new addition. Now when she says new addition, I tend to think, oh no, what have you bought? My money's on a new coat. Man, am I good. What have you done? I don't know what you're talking about. It's a dog. <laughs> funny looking dog. Hi, you. You're a very pretty dog. You're a funny looking dog. I know you're not sure what's up. I want to get information about you for mama. You know, for an illicit goat purchase, she's very pretty. Illicit? I had full approval. I don't know what you're talking about. So tell me about her. Uh, this is Kitty. That's right, Kitty. K-I-T-T-Y, like a cat. Her name, her registered name is Splash Kitty. Slash Kitty? Splash Kitty. <laughs> it's a slasher film. No, she, uh, she's a registered alpine a French Alpine dairy goat who was recently bred to another registered French Alpine buck. So she should be bred due to kid in like early March. She'll be a third freshener doe this year or next year, I guess, um, which means that she's had babies twice before. Uh, I got her from our neighbor right around the corner who uh, was selling her whole herd of registered French Alpine goats and I felt that it would be prudent to try and jump on that. Hi, sweetie. I do feel like you get deserve some credit. You had permission to get one goat and came home with? One goat. This See? is the, probably the first time I'm that's growing. happened. It's personal growth. Yeah. <laughs> or either that or I'm just getting better at math. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get her all loaded up. Unloaded. Unloaded up. She's oh. gonna have to get a collar. Oh, girl. Girl. She walks pretty nicely. Look at the difference in these breeds. So she's gonna go in the lockup pen. Short neck? So that the dogs can investigate. Long neck. She can feel safe. She's like a deer. Yeah. So Miss Kitty, uh, the plan with her is that she should be kidding with um, hopefully twins, but uh, she should have registerable, registerable baby alpines in the spring and we can sell them or we can retain that if they're girls, we can retain them for our milking herd. So Miss Kitty is joining the herd and of course she is going to be um, bred and everything uh, but in the short term how are you handling introducing her to the new herd so for the dog etc yeah so for tonight she is going to spend the night in the lockup pen with the nigerians um she's never been with a dog to my knowledge she's never lived with guardian dogs so i think that would be a better introduction for her to have that safety of defense um, and she has actually been mostly hanging out with a doling that is about the size of our Nigerian. So she's pretty familiar and pretty comfortable with goats that size. So I think that she'll be fine overnight hanging out with them. Uh, and also a longer short term plan, I guess, is that uh, I'm thinking probably tomorrow I'm going to be bringing Rocket in here to breed the big girls which means that all the Nigerians need to go away from this pen because they're not being bred yet. And I figure that Kitty being already bred should just go and hang out with them. So she'll move with the Nigerians over to the boy pen and Java and Obi are gonna move into the lockup pen during breeding. 
So you are not planning on breeding Java this year? I am planning on breeding Java to the Nigerians next month. Oh. And then Rocket gets to go and lock up? Uh, actually, it will be much simpler because Rocket could just stay with the big girls while I just take Java over to where the Nigerian girls are all hanging out. Interesting. And here she is, the lovely kitty. But she's going to move with our Nigerians today out of this pasture, actually. And they're going to go move in with the weathers for a little while while Rocket is breeding the other big girls in here. Because Kitty should already be pregnant. We really hope that she is. If she's not, then I guess she'll get clean up bread if she comes back into heat. So next task of the day is to play musical goats. <laughs> We're going to be moving the bucks out of the boy pen and Java and Obi are going to go in the lockup pen because Java is not currently going to work and uh, the Nigerian girls are going to go hang out with the weathers. So, because they're not getting bread until next month. So, it's all good. We're going to get those guys moved now. Now for the moment of truth, we're gonna let Rocket out. Rocket, come on, handsome. Let's we'll see the girls. Well, it's been a few hours, and it looks like things are finally starting to calm down in the goat pen. Rocket is still, I'm sure, checking regularly to make sure that those girls are uh, ready. But he's going to be hanging out in here for the next several weeks, uh, making sure that everybody gets bred and make sure that they uh, take on the first time. And after that, uh, Mr. Java will be moving into the other pen where the Nigerians are, and that's when we'll be breeding them. So we're trying to stagger our breeding because I really don't have materials and set up at this point for every doe to have a kidding stall. So if I can stagger the breeding just enough, then I'll be done using them with one group and then the next group will be kidding. Hey handsome man. Are you so happy to have all those ladies? Yeah. Goodness, hello. How are we doing in here everybody? Yeah, John has been yelling much of this afternoon, not happy about his friends leaving. But man, he is getting so dark, growing in that winter coat. Hey everybody, Editing Amanda here. This video was actually filmed about a week ago, and as you can hear in my voice, uh, I've been getting over a cold. Actually, uh, the end of the last shot here that you just saw with John growing in his coat. After that, my voice went away. It just disappeared, and so I did not get any more footage for the rest of the day, which means I did not film an outro. So the next couple of videos, you're going to hear that my voice is pretty squeaky or non-existent. And uh, so that's just a little bit of warning for you guys. But I just wanted to make sure that I sign off this video for you. As always, this is your country nerd with a goat heart saying that you can grow where you're planted. <laughs>